Uh, first of all, I would like to talk about the health and development in Nepal. Nepal is a small landlocked country with a population of 30 million people, and the, peop uh, the population is a very diverse group. Nepal has had 10 years of conflict recently, and we are in a transitional democracy, and we are in a stage uh, making a new constitution. And as you are all aware of the fact that Nepal has a diverse topography from the plains to the highest mountains and Mount Everest is located in Nepal. I'm sure everybody knows that. And if, 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 nobody, if somebody is unaware of that, I'd like to make a point that please note that Mount Everest is in Nepal. <laughs> and we have a large scale uh, um, out migration. And with 80% of Nepal's population in rural areas bringing, and, and uh, with a difficult uh, t terrain and topography, and bringing services nearer to these uh, people is a big challenge. And like elsewhere, everywhere, equity, access, social inclusion, and political and development issues are the main challenges for us. Uh, let me take you through, through the uh, improving maternal and child health. Nepal had a dramatic decline in child mortality. If you see that uh, graph, uh, graph uh, there, you can see that Nepal has done wonderfully with the uh, under five mortality, infant mortality, and even the neonatal mortality. Till 2006, we are doing very well, but 2006 and 2011, DHS has shown that neonatal mortality has stagnated. And talking about the improvement in maternal health, TFR has dropped to 2.6. Recently, uh, DHS 2011 was revealed and it showed that the DHS has shown that TFR in Nepal is 2.6 uh, nationwide. And in the urban areas, is 1.6. is below the replacement level. MMR has dropped down from 539 in 1996 to 281 in 2006. And by 2015, we have to achieve 134. And with all these activities going on, I can uh, assure you that Nepal will achieve the MDG, uh, MDG 5 and bring it below 100. And Nepal was awarded uh, in 2010 uh, Millennium Development Goal 5, and that, that, uh, that award has, uh, keeps us uh, motivated and uh, keeps us to work hard. But most of the women in Nepal still deliver at home and without a skill provider. And as I've already told you before, a, a neonatal mortality rate uh, is a challenge for us. Something is wrong with the slide. Well, uh, maternal, health, uh, maternal health in Nepal is uh, one of the maternal causes of leading causes is uh, maternal causes uh, is a leading cause of death in all uh, women of reproductive age in 21 in 1998. But uh, in 2009, there was a maternal morbidity mortality survey done and it showed that the leading cause uh, in, in the, in, uh, is suicide. And causes of maternal deaths have shifted from PHS. Uh, PPS has dropped from 46 to 17 percent, and eclampsia is now the leading cause, and is 21 percent. I don't know why I cannot uh, get my slides there. There are two two slides, but I, I don't know some some problem. There are two slides showing that uh, uh, showing the PPS was 46, and it has dropped to 17, and eclampsia is the leading cause. There are two slides uh, showing the maternal causes that are shifted. And uh, taking this into account, eclampsia being the leading cause uh, in maternal mortality, now Nepal has uh, initiated uh, uh, piloting the calcium program in one of the districts and uh, tried to produce evidence and, and to, to be scaled up. Talking about the health system, in Nepal we have 75 districts. And is the districts is divided into village development society. We have the Ministry, Ministry of Health at the, as the apex body. We have the uh, Department of Health Services. Then we have divisions and centers. Then we come down to the zonal hospitals, district hospitals. And at the community level, 
this is a crowded slide, you cannot see it. We have this FCSB is working in the community and we have the PSURC clinic and immunization clinics. Uh, this, this is a very famous slide, you have seen it yesterday and you'll be seeing it more in the afternoon also. This is the uh, female community health uh, volunteers. Uh, as I've told you that Nepal is divided into 75 districts and each district is divided into VDCs and each VDC has nine wards and each ward has at least one female community health volunteer and this female community volunteer she is a female, and she is from that community, a daughter-in-law, she cannot be a daughter, uh, and, and she is a volunteer, she doesn't get paid. These are the three key, key words there. And uh, talking about the intervention to reduce the mortality, uh, the, we had a very successful uh, family planning program since 1970s. And why I say it was a very uh, successful program? Because in the recent years, the partners, the donors, their priority have changed in family planning. The, the amount of money coming to the family planning has reduced. So we now uh, have repositioned family planning and we say that family planning should, should be revitalized. And family planning is the main intervention to reduce the maternal mortality. I'm sure most of you will agree. We have developed birth preparedness package in, for the community. And this, this package is basically the female community health volunteers counsel the pregnant women in the, identify the, uh, identify the pregnant mother, uh, pregnant women in the community, follow them up, up for eight months, eight, nine months, and they, 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 they prepare them to go to the health facility, they prepare them for birth, they are told to save money and all. And Nepal has one of the most successful program in Nepal is abortion, safe abortion services, which was legalized in uh, 2002. And you have heard that uh, anemia, anemia, we have addressed the anemia, iron intensification program and deworming program, which is a successful program. And we have developed a safe, uh, this skill birth attendance policy in 2005, and that is, uh, that, that is, uh, that is helping us to reduce the maternal mortality. And we have uh, distributed misoprostol for home, home births since 2006. And we have launched uh, SBA in-service training uh, in the, in the pub private sector also. And Nepal has introduced AMA program. This is a demand side program. And this is a safe uh, delivery incentive program where safe delivery incentive is there that if a, if a mother, if a woman goes to a Public, public facility to deliver, she doesn't have to pay anything, and she's provided uh, transportation as well. And free maternity care. And we have also introduced ANC and PNC in incentive, that if a, a pregnant woman completes all four ANCs, goes to a health facility to deliver, and completes all three PNCs, she gets some certain amount of money, around 400 rupees. So this program, uh, has been very successful and recently with pride I can say, tell you that, share with you that uh, WHO and Aspen has uh, awarded Nepal the Resolve Award for Best Health Financing uh, Program and we will be receiving this award 22nd May in the Global Health Assembly. And uh, we have, thank you very much. We have expanded CUC sites and birthing centers uh, since 2007 in eight and we have piloted a community-based newborn care package. And one of the ma ma major, major, uh, major interventions that is that we have expanded uh, uh, adolescence-friendly delivery health services in 35 clinics. We are aware that uh, uh, we have many adolescent pregnancies. To address that, we have uh, adolescent-friendly clinics. And this is just to show you the uh, measurement of uh, uh, maternal mortality, and you can see that there, there is DHS, there is the Hogan model, and there, there is the maternal mortality morbidity survey done by uh, FSD and SSMP. So you can see that uh, 2009 we have come down to 229, and this, has, this uh, clearly states that Nepal is on tr uh, track to receive the uh, Millennium Development Goal 5. I'll skip this because he has already shown me the time. Uh, and this AMA program has addressed the equity and access, equity pro because 
Uh, you can see that the lowest, poorest quintile are, quintile are accessing more, 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 and more uh, services, and they're, they're, uh, so that the, 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 the equity is addressed. And the contributors to the MMR reduction is, uh, is basically reduction in fertility. That is, in 1970, we had 6.1, and if you see 2011, it is uh, 2.6 uh, nationwide, and in urban areas, it's 1.6. Reduce maternal rates, development uh, improvements like education, women are educated, they have become wealthier, human development index has improved, gender empowerment is, uh, is increasing, and we have increased, uh, increased bad need for uh, emergency obstetry and neonatal care, and safe abortion services have been legalized and people avail their services. Well, this is just the repetition now, so showing you that uh, decline uh, in fertility rates, uh, 2.6. And if you see the delivery by the SBS, it has come from 1999 to uh, is 2011, is 36. By the year 2015, we have to achieve 60%. And that is achievable, I guess. I'm sure. The implication for the national maternal, uh, maternal is uh, eclampsia is the top direct cause for maternal mortality. And, uh, we, we, we have to work hard on that and we are piloting a calcium program for that. And 41% of the maternal deaths are occurring in facilities. If you see us, uh, if you could, uh, in 2001, the, most of the deaths were happening on the, on the way. Now the, most of the deaths are happening, uh, happening at the facilities. This, uh, this, uh, this shows that we have improved our quality in the services in the health centers, health facilities, and, uh, and, and uh, update our facilities. Uh, and still, the uh, home births are a problem, and neonatal mortality uh, has not reduced, and this is a problem. And uh, TFR has declined, and CPR has stagnated. Now it's 50, and we haven't been able to go above 50 for all methods. High, met, uh, high unmet needs among underserved, excluded, thank you, I'll finish within time, uh, excluded groups and the poor. We, we also have challenges like everybody else. And the main challenge is uh, reaching the unreached remote areas, excluded groups. Human resources is a problem, especially in the uh, remote areas. And uh, we, we produce large number of human resources, but we are producing it for other, other developed countries. So this is the problem of every country in the uh, developing part of the, even Bangladesh is doing the same. Motivating and sustaining large volunteer works. These FCSBs have been contributing a lot, but now, now they have come for demands and all. That's a quite a big problem for us. And health sector reform is another problem. Thank you very much. With this proud mother and a healthy child, I leave you. Thank you very much.